G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza. I'm Jazza and this is the Artist Showcase video series where people who send me their artwork on Newgrounds uh, have their art reviewed by me and then I select about a dozen of them to feature in a uh, showcase video, which is this. And then one of them is picked every week to be put on the Newgrounds front page. So jumping straight into it, we have our first artist, Heskey5, and the art piece is called My Star Wars Design. Uh, and at, at first sight, it looks quite complicated and visually appealing. I'm not quite sure how much of it is original though, uh, seeing that the images do look somewhat kind of pasted in there, but that aside, the composition of it is pretty good and I quite like looking at it. So it's one of those things where at a distance it's really good and, uh, and enjoyable. So thank you for sharing that. Our next piece by artist Radioactive Roach is called Cthulhu Rising from the Ocean, which is a traditional art piece that uh, wherein the color was added in GIMP afterwards. Uh, but the line work and shape and the overall like black ink work of this image is really strong uh, and really epic. There's a really epic feel to it, a, quite a scale of grandeur and uh, size that's really well pulled off in uh, the character's lines and detail, which is not spared at all and really well done. So thank you for sharing that radioactive roach. Our next piece by artist Andre Tobea is called Wally Lewis, and it is seemingly a picture of a guy who must have been very talented at putting a bull-shaped object into a designated area. Uh, and while I know very little to nothing about sports, the image itself is well painted and whoever this athlete might be, he is well represented and painted in this image. So thank you for the sharing that with us. Next by artist Z Mint is called Resting Tiger. And it's a really nice representation with soft pastel colors, really sort of watery soft look to the image. It's, it's really quite a clean look, but overall the composition and the warm yet soft nature of the image is very pleasing to look at and very well done. Next by artist, three crazy artists is called LOL, Frosted Ezrael fan art. And I'm assuming by LOL they mean League of Legends, which is the arch enemy to Dota. Therefore, I am obligated to hate this artwork, but I won't because I think it's really well done. And in particular, a great improvement that this artist has made. They're really developing well, so I think that uh, is very important to reward. So you're doing a really good job. Keep going because I look forward to seeing where you get with uh, your obvious uh, knack for progression. Our next piece by artist Kakura GV is called Reaching for Magic and it is indicative of our artistic attitudes in all walks of life. If you are an artistic person like myself or this artist, this is pretty much how you see art. The pen is a tool for which we can unleash our imagination and create worlds of our own. And this is very well demonstrated and uh, and also technically well executed and drawn. So definitely worth sharing. And also I like your taste in little characters in your image as well. So thank you very much for sharing that with us. Our next piece by artist Joel Macker is called Bounty Hunter Tiger. And it's a very stylistically well done image. There's a very, very strong silhouette and pose of the character. Really clean line work and clean coloring and shading. And uh, just overall stylistically, it's quite impressive. Uh, there's a, a very clear sense of self in this image. So great job. Next piece by artist The Cat Called Fish is called Jarvis. And uh, this is a very squiggly type of painting, but there's something uh, beautiful about this in the chaos that uh, in, in this very sort of all over the place style of, of using lines, very liney squiggles all out uh, throughout this image, we end up with a quite refined looking piece, really well uh, lit in a really strange way because they're mixing the blues and oranges in different areas and that are seemingly random and seemingly random shapes, but at a, at a distance is very well done. So fantastic work there. Our next piece by artist DMF Makala is called Hairy Gorilla, and it's one of those pieces where through its simplicity and cleanliness, through the uh, simple but effective use of line weight alteration and simple shapes, uh, simple curves and overall image composition, we get a very pleasant image. And it's a, it's really, while very simple, really pleasing to look at and uh, quite a bit of potential there. So keep going and doing what you're doing. Next piece by artist BDL Cito is entitled Moby Dick, 
and uh, I'm assuming it's a picture of Moby Dick with sea creature character -y thingies around him. Now, I'm not very familiar with Moby Dick, so I don't know if it's actually representative of that. But that aside, there's uh, a lot to be very pleased about when looking at this image. The uh, line work is very clean. The shading is clever and well done in the sense that a lot of people hesitate when shading something orange uh, to add different colors. Like as you can see in this image, there are like pinks throughout the orange or uh, purples and pinks and, and greens throughout the light blue of this front character. And all throughout the image, we have that kind of sense of a variation in the shading, which adds interest visually and, uh, and a, a really nice stylistic feel to it. So great job. Next piece by artist Titan89 is entitled Ender Dragon, and it's one of those well done, detailed pieces. There's not a lot in the way of environment, but in terms of a dragon, there are a lot of attempts of dragons that I see quite often, and rarely is one pulled off so well uh, in a very confident way. So this is very, very well done. There's a, an extreme feel of cell shading and line work going on here, which complements the visceral and hard nature of a dragon and its scales and its aggressive sort of feel and it's obviously a bit of an aggressive dark looking dragon so you've done a really good job there and uh, I'd like to see you keep it up because you're doing very well and finally, ladies and gentlemen, our last piece and feature of the week is by Dissonance and it's called Punch. Now we've featured an artwork by this artist before on another showcase in which I mentioned it was a very close second, which I kind of had to second guess and email Tom and ask to uh, put his image on the front page as well, but I didn't credit it as the winner in that showcase or the equal first prize place winner. So uh, this image, which has well and truly earned the first place in this showcase, uh, is also kind of placed am among the uh, the other one, which didn't get the same amount of credit. So I just want you all to know that this artist is very good and you should definitely check out uh, the other work that they've done because there is a, a very clear understanding of good painting technique, good image composition and use of color. And it's just very well done. So fantastic work and thank you for submitting to the showcase. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to our conclusion of this week's Artist Showcase. Thank you for all your entries. Again, uh, I'm always a little late to reply uh, to your messages and review them because I seem to be always exponentially two weeks behind. Um, I spent all day today going through and reviewing uh, all the artworks that are sent to me so that my inbox would finally become empty. Uh, it literally took me 12 hours and uh, I have the next two showcase videos ready to go. I have the images set up for there. So if you send me an image now, don't expect it to get in a showcase for a couple of weeks. Uh, but that aside, thank you all for your participation. I'm really enjoying uh, the the things that you guys get out of these showcase videos and the fact that I get uh, such enjoyment out of seeing people's progress and seeing you all be so enthusiastic and encouraging. So thank you very much. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you later. Do you want me to review your artwork and have a chance to be in a future showcase video? Upload your artwork to newgrounds.com. You can send me a link by going to jazza.newgrounds.com and click send a private message. Make sure to include the word showcase in capital letters in the message title and give me a link to your piece of art. Please be considerate of my time and understand I have a lot to get through, so please only send me one image and not a whole gallery, and make sure that it's on newgrounds.com. Thanks for checking out this showcase. I look forward to seeing your art in the future.